welcome back. I have just finished painting this, but I think I still feel like painting. So I'm going to come over here to this page and get out a mop brush. This is my Raphael number four. And this is my Essentials watercolors that I'd gotten from Masha's watercolors. And I think I'm going to do something on this watercolor page in this orange and red kind of look here because these are oranges and reds, I think. Let me get a piece of paper. Okay, here is a, it's just Canson XL watercolor paper. I just want to kind of get our colors started where I want to go. Okay, so it's basically in this line right here that I want to be, not necessarily that purple. So I kind of want to be right here in this kind of yellow, this orange, definitely that pinky color and that marooning color, less of the yellow, but more in here. So I'm going to be right in here with these watercolors now that I can see the colors. And then who knows what we'll do on top. We'll see. Let's just get started. And I'm kind of thinking one of my random abstract kind of organic shape. I don't really know where we're going today. That's kind of the fun of it. Just painting organically here. No specific thing in mind. More of a, what can we get to? But I do want the color similar as over here. Um, that way, it's kind of like interesting because they kind of match, but don't match kind of thing. Whereas actually I am kind of taking inspiration here from this kind of shape, aren't I? So kind of am taking inspiration for that. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay. Sometimes you just got to start putting paint down and then let that say where you're going to go. Oh, oh my gosh. These are pretty, pretty. I'm already excited. Check it out. Already feeling good here. And this is weirdo cottony paper. It's not like regular cold press paper. So kind of interesting to see like the different things that we've got to do to make that actually do what we want it to do. So, and then we could mark make in here. Yeah, let's do that. Whoa, do you see that right there? <laughs> well, you know what we could do? Let's get the fan brush. Let's get the fan brush and do something weird. What do we want to do? Like we could take this little pinky color and kind of come in here. Just kind of see like what, I don't want it to be like solid. I was kind of wanting stripes. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, 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 look at that. That's pretty. Okay. I'm liking it. Let's go over here with some orange on the fan brush and just maybe do like a little edge. Oh, 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 that's pretty. Okay. I'm liking that. Liking that. We're getting, we're getting some prettiness there. Kind of feeling like we could, we could, ooh, we could pick some up. Let me get a tissue because we could wet it and pick some up and get some variation here on our color. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just get some variation in the light and the dark so it's not all t the same tone. And we're getting a little texture in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know what else we could do? Oh, we could go ahead at the moment and we could, we could bubble wrap it. This is a piece of bubble wrap that came as some packaging, which apparently had an end to it. Let's cut this end because I'm feeling like we could do some texture here with some bubble wrap. Come on here. Give me a break. There we go. And wherever that's touching, maybe 
maybe we'll get some texture. So now I need to set something on this <laughs> so I don't have to sit here and hold this with my two hands. We're going to let this dry a tiny bit and see if we got enough texture um, like I'm hoping we're going to get. So maybe I'll just grab this thing and we'll see what we get. So I'll be right back. All right, I left this for a bit, but I didn't leave it till it's dry. And I'm kind of curious to see, did we get anything at all? So let's just see. All right, so I might should have left it to really, really dry instead of just kind of <laughs> teasing with the dryness. But we did still get some pattern in here that's pretty cool. So I think I'm actually going to dry this and then we can mark make on top. All right, and I know that I've avoided using any of my oil pastels this whole time, but this one to me is really calling out for some of my mungios. So I'm just gonna have to pony up <laughs> and go outside and spray this with pastel fixative and then possibly permanently leave some deli paper as a separator. Just depends, but I feel feel like I need some of this really bright uh, Mungyo color and maybe even one of these other ones. feel like I need some gold. Um, I definitely feel like we need some more going on here. So let me move wet paint things out of my way because I got a couple wet paint things over here to the side. There we go. We can set the Mungyos there. This side over here, um, I've got paint from this page over there and I think to kind of finish that off and make it not look so unfinished I'm just going to cover the edge with some of this um, Stabilo red and then that will look on purpose instead of weirdo paint left on that side so that feels better and I could do this with all the Mungos and I mean all the Stabilos and not the Mungos but this color just um, I've used it on another piece in this orange and I kind of feel like that's what it's screaming out for and maybe some gold so I can either do my dip pen with the gold which I haven't done in a while um, and I say the dip pen with the gold because I can get more gold out here and I want to do the gold under the pastels because it's going to be harder to do the gold on top of the pastels. And you know, this ink gets too thick sometimes and then it doesn't work on your pen as well. So if you're having trouble with your pen, um, definitely check like how thick that ink is. Because when that ink gets too thick, it does not do the same. But I want some circles. It's been a while. Let's circle it up. <laughs> and in those circles and I got that way down in there I just did it good um, because I was going bigger I just wanted more ink to work with this still feels kind of wet that canvas takes a while to dry and you know I just finished painting this page over here a bit ago and decided I still am in the mood to paint but that video would have been like super duper long I'm probably painting putting that paint on that side accidentally I'm trying to be careful <laughs> we may have to come in with some splatter and then any places that has random paint from the other page um, it'll look like it was on purpose just think of different things don't think of that as oh that ruined my page think of that as oh how can I make it look like I did that on purpose so I got some little dots here in the middle of there. I also feel like I need some gold dots, which I could do with my zig pen instead of my dip pen, but we already got the dip pen out, so let's just do it. See, I do feel like that ink is a little bit thick now because it's not doing what I'm thinking it should do. It's real thick right there. So I am thinking that I may need to... I, mean, I may need to retire this particular thing of ink that I've been using forever, but it does get thick and then it gets up in your little pen and then it doesn't do what you think it should do. Definitely feel like that's still wet. I just touched it. <laughs> yeah, it gets kind of gummy in here. I feel like I may need to retire this ink to maybe just painting with it with a paintbrush because it's not 
it's not bad it just gets thick and I've already added and then I dumped two together at some point because I thought I should just add to this one and then that got thick and then I added water to it so this one I've definitely like abused and maybe starting with a fresh one after as much as this ink has been through and then it sat up here because I haven't pulled the ink out in a while um, with my dip pen so it's sat up here for maybe several months. So I like that. Okay, I'm actually, I'm actually loving where we're at. And then to clean these out really good, I just push this in water and do it in my microfiber cloth. And then if I get real thick, like there's ink up in there or something, I'll soak it for a bit. And then I'll actually take an X-Acto knife and run that up my little grooves to really get the ink out of there. Um, if you feel like you've let it dry and get too thick, as you're using it, you might just go ahead and take that nib off and pop that in the water and just let that soak as you're painting and doing your stuff. Just that's what I'm gonna do. And then, let's see where else we wanna go. I feel like I need some of this color in here. I also feel a little bit like an orange so or a yellow. Let's see. Ooh, here's the orange. And this orange, maybe it's this orange. I'm kind of, oh yeah, yeah, maybe it's that orange. I've also got like a pink here that I like a lot. And I'm just feeling like we could use some of these to really get those pops of colors that I want. And I'm just gonna have to spray it. And I use the uh, Sennelier Soft Pastel Fixative Spray. Nope, I lied to you. I use the oil pastel <laughs> fixative spray by Sennelier when I use these monk when I use these mungyos because oil pastels, sorry, never really seem to dry, but the the spray does tend to give them an overcoating um, that you can then at least live with. Look how pretty that is. That's exactly kind of what I was wanting to go. And now I'm kind of thinking that I want some of this red right up here. Let's just do it. There's a couple in here that are, you know, and I don't, I don't think of art journals as masterpieces, but maybe they are masterpieces. There's a page or two in here that I'm kind of like, I love that so much I kind of want to cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking that I might have to scan some of these in on my scanner and make a print if I really, really love it. And then I could hand embellish the print if I wanted. Um, that might be fun. And I'm just experimenting with some marks here. There's nothing special that I'm thinking. I'm just playing with the marks and the lines that maybe we've already got going, just seeing where I can go. And if it ends up that I've messed it up somewhere, not a big deal. Not a big deal. We're just having some fun and trying some different stuff and trying techniques. Things like this get me to my next workshop that I want to make. I get inspired. I'm doing stuff and I'm like, oh, I feel I've got a whole idea lined up for a workshop. I love, love, love playing and experimenting just to get to that next idea. Okay, I don't love the rainbow. Maybe I shouldn't have done that over there, but... It's what it is. My, my favorite thing I've done here is this little orange stripe. What about this color? What do I want to do here? Could do some little tiny, almost like the gold, but little tiny dots in the orange. It's a different color orange than that stripe was. I just like it because of the vividness of these mungyos and the controllability because these are very controllable, more so than the Sennelier oil pastels. These are just, they're not as soft as the Sennelier's and they just are super cool as you use them and they're very controllable and I love them. Okay, I'm loving that. I didn't do anything in the center there. Hmm. Do we need anything in the center? Maybe not. 
Is there a color that I've left out? I have kind of left out uh, maybe some mark making with some graphite possibly. I could do a little bit of that. I don't know. Does it need it? Maybe just a tiny bit. I do like a little tiny bit of some lines in there that don't aren't perfect. They're just kind of doing their thing. They're another layer that you find. If you hold that pencil way far back, you get a lot more organic um, line making. It's not perfect. You can't control it. Ooh, I like that. It's very subtle. You got to get close to even see that. All right, that's looking pretty cool. Kind of where I wanted to be. Do I need anything else? It's just one last little look around like do we I really liked this color can we fit that color in anywhere else or do we just want to live with it right there I'm kind of loving it I mean I did kind of put it there maybe we should just leave well enough alone I am kind of loving that right there super cool all right we're gonna call that one good for today just because it's at a stopping point and I'm not sure if it needs anything else and so rather than add something else and be upset with it I think that we could oh we could do some splatter because I have a thing or two down here of like a paint and I did kind of mention splatter let me get a paintbrush smaller one and maybe a tiny bit of splatter is what I'm thinking So I've just kind of dipped it in some water with the color on it because I want to get it where if I tap it very gently, I do get some, just a little bit of splatter without it being like a line of splatter. Ooh, we could have done that with the gold. Oh, we could definitely do that with some gold. Okay, let's get that gold back down here. Okay, so it's got a lot of water. Let's just dip it down in there. Maybe add a little extra water. And then I just gently tap. Um, and then that will dry pretty gold. All right, now I think I'm happy with it. Okay, that was the touch I wanted. All right, what do you think? Here's our random set. Kind of in the same colors, totally different style. It is very fun. Let me pull these out to even get a look without these papers behind it. Oh, oh okay, that's super fun. I'm loving today's work that I did on both pages, even if you're seeing the videos on two different days. That's super fun. Hope you enjoyed where we ended up and had fun painting with me today. I will see you next time.